Ah, I know I've been going for a minute with my videos. I was enjoying family, holiday time, happy Thanksgiving to people that celebrate and whatnot. Um, where do I begin? I, I'm kind of like losing faith for Bandai. I, I'm gonna be honest. I, I'm, I, I was having copium at first. And I, I say it's still there a little bit, but my mind coming more realistic now about the December patch going to change everything and make this game good. But I'm losing faith. I'm losing faith like a motherfucker. Okay, I'm losing it. Because as some of you probably know, if y'all been in the loop, they did the little Spark and Zero tournament thing, right? Grand finals and whatnot, right? And Shiryu, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Shiryu right here won the grand finals of, of that tournament from France or whatever, right? And if you haven't seen the clip, I'm not going to put it on screen. I don't, I don't. <laughs> it's, not a, it's not really pleasing to watch. Very boring to watch. But apparently, Shiryu just recently got banned, him and the person he was going against, got banned from competing in future tournaments it sounds like if you don't want to know what the clip is the clip is basically showing him run away with android 20 maybe i can't find a clip let me see if i find a clip so here's the clip the clip is literally them flying up and down for 10 minutes with androids to win with the timer that that that's literally what the what the 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 grand finals was the person you're going against they used the same strat but the tournament officials asked him to change off of android 19 and 20 so that a real match can happen because before that it was just them running away for 10 minutes until timer happened and whoever had dealt a little amount of damage to the opponent they will win for timeout but that's basically what the strat was right but the situation gets crazy because there was nothing in the in the tournament rules banning android 19 to 20 there was nothing in the rules saying you're against you're you're against uh running away and and stalling out which a lot of fighting games have as a strat stalling and zoning your opponent out to win with timeout whether you think it's a corny gameplay style or not doesn't really matter that's just a strat in fighting games, right? In any game in general, you know? Um, and if you're good and elusive with it, it's a good strat. You can't get mad at it, you know? Call it corny, but it's, it's a strat. It's a strat. So, in the middle of the tournament, you're asking one of the finalists to not use Android 1920 so that the fight is interesting. And then, after you see them exploiting the character that's in the game y'all don't ban the characters for both of them y'all proceed to let one of them still use it and he wins the grand final from doing this but then also after the tournament ends y'all disqualify said said grand final winner because he was using an exploit in the game that y'all knew was in the game because fans been telling you guys for about a month now about Android 1920. People been talking about Android 1920 since the first week of Sparking Zero came out. And y'all banned him for winning with something that's in y'all game. Now, I understand game testers can't find everything. But when you got a fan base telling you that this exploit is in the game since week one and y'all didn't patch him, but y'all was able to patch Yajirobe super quick, this is only the developer's fault and not the actual gamer's no fault. Like, this could have easily been patched as just as quick as Yajirobe. This is not a hard change. Just making that Android 19 and 20 use its key when they when they Dragon Dash. That, that's all you got to do. Make it that they use key when they Dragon Dash. And then, boom, the problem is solved. It's not a hard fix. It's not a hard fix. I feel bad for the opponent he fought against because they lost because the, the officials asked him to get off of Android 1920, so it's an interesting match. While Shiryu was able to just get an easy uh, dub because he able to exploit said tactic with Android 1920. Kind of ridiculous. Kind of ridiculous. But what makes it worse is 
Shiryu asked the tournament qualifier people, is it okay for him to run away with the strat, right? Is it okay for him to uh, run away and use Android 19 and 20? He screenshot it in the Discord of him asking them, can I run the match though or will I be disqualified if he do the whole Android 19 20 strat in Team DP, which is a very prominent strat if you're going rank right now on the game. Very obvious strat people do. Um, he even said it because I went to timer with that. And even though he asked them in the server of the tournament, no one got back to him and answered. And no one answered him. No one answered him. Was it okay for him to do it or is he going to get disqualified? No one answered him. He was like, can I answer my question, please? Can I run and win to timer? Yes or no? And, and no one asked. No one gave him an answer. And then they was like, well, there's nothing in the rule that say run away in the game is against the rules. And he was like, so it's a legit. It's legit then. So he chose 1920 and did the usual strat you see in Team DP on Sparky Zero that people been talking about since first week of Sparky Zero. And then he got disqualified for doing it. You know, that's kind of crazy. And him and the other dude know each other, so they both was like, well, since strat is okay, we finna do whatever it takes to win. Said, you can play with your team according to the rules of the tournament, into the lobby, and play play as you please. And he said, so I can run. Okay. And they said, let's play then. Thanks. Like, didn't make no sense. No one answered him. And then, after this happened, the situation get worse. The tournament, the tournament organizers have determined that two players engaged in actions that violate the code of conduct during the finals for the Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, the dramatic showdown online qualifier France. Their actions disrupted the normal operation of the event. So, there's nothing in the rule saying against running, but apparently this was against the code of conduct. Make it make sense. The tournament organizers have decided to take the following measures. Disqualification of both players. Revocation of qualification for the battle hour grand finals. The third place players will be invited to compete in a match under the supervision of administrator, administrators off stream. The winner will qualify for the battle hour grand finals. The tournament organizers will continue to strictly address any violations or inappropriate behavior. We ask for an understanding and cooperation of all participants, spectators, and staff. So, even though the tournament had all type of cheeses in it, I'm talking Broly, cheese, the Android cheese, every cheese you can think of in Sparkle Zero was used in this tournament, right? But they got disqualified for using the most known cheese in God in Sparkle Zero right now, Team DP. They got disqualified and banned from their accomplishments, right? So the issue with this is, because I never seen this happen in gaming, okay? The issue with this is they use something that's in the game that's not patched. Usually when this happens in a fighting game, the tournament, when it gets shown after the tournament, the devs like, okay, we know who we need to patch. And then they fix it later on so it never happened again. They don't disqualify the people using what's in the game because it, was, it wasn't against the rules. This is what happened. Yeah, it probably ruined their event because they didn't, they wasn't aware of such strat, even though they should have known because people talking about it all day. Even though it, it probably ruined their, their viewership, they can't get mad about them using something in the game. It should have been like, okay, let's pass this before battle hour happens. Y'all was able to pass Yaj Roby quick. Just pass this quick and then do the tournament next week so the strat can't be used. It just made no sense. It made no sense. And it makes me lose faith because it's like, instead of actually patching the issue in the game, y'all ban the players for using the issue in y'all game. So now I'm sitting here like, is they actually going to patch Android 19 and 20 coming in the future with the December patch? I truly believe, because we already know, Game devs, they don't really listen to people unless it's a big known content creator or some crap. Someone with a following, someone with some pool, okay? Unless someone, one of them speak up about it, most of the time, you ain't gonna see change. That's just how it is with some of these companies. They, Unless you got a big voice on you with a coat behind you to follow your voice, they ain't really listening. 
So they the game that's been showing, they're not really listening to people unless a, a widespread of people complain about it, right? Like we had Broly in there cheesing, we had Dr. Willow in there cheesing, we had the Android 1920 in there cheesing, like was, all the cheese stats was there, right? But y'all complain about Android 1920 because they was time stalling? That people been talking about since week one? They could have changed the time in a match if that was the issue where it's infinite time and then niggas just got to box it out because they know they can't win through time. They could have easily just nerfed Android 19 and 18, I mean 20 and 19 before the next tournament and made it they drain key when they dragon dashes. Like there's so many other alternatives than actually banning the players from using what's in the game. Made no sense. So now I'm kind of losing faith in Bandai uh, game devs or Sparking Zero because... If y'all banning the player instead of the actual, uh, actually fixing the game before the next tournament, now I'm just sitting here like, is they really going to make a big change in December? I know they did a survey, but are they actually listening to the player base? Because again, this been an issue since week one in Sparking Zero with the Yajirobe, and they just turned a blind eye to it when people have been said they are huge issues. I, I, I just I just don't know y'all I don't know at this point so then it continues now the the code of conduct thing the only thing I can say that can give some type of grace toward the get toward Bandai Nil banning him I won by just running with androids hashtag fix sparking zero now at this point it looks like he did this to make a statement he basically wanted, he, he made sure he got the stage he needed, which was in a in a grand finals tournament, and then did this strat to show Bandai, since Bandai wasn't listening to people about the game, the game deal, Sparking Zero game deal, wasn't listening to people about the game. I'll be saying Bandai because they're the publishers, but the game deal is Sparking Zero. That's what I mean when I say Bandai. Um, He waited till he got this grand stage where everybody was watching to then show the cheese strat in order to make our voices heard by Bandai, like, hey, this need to be fixed. So he comes off as like a vigilante, basically. Um, that that freaking come together, an anarchy, basically, to show rebellion towards Bandai for not listening for weeks about this strat in the game. So you wait until the tournament, pull this strat off, and say Bandai fixed the game. Now, you can go about this two ways. It's an optimal strat. So you can't say he's just doing this to make a statement because at the end of the day, there's still a pro strat to actually win. You're in a tournament. You're doing whatever it takes to win. You're trying to win the goddamn tournament. So you can't say he just did it just to make a point. He wanted to win, and it's an optimal strat. Maybe boring to watch, but it's an optimal strat. But also, too, you can say poor code of conduct, and then you came to the tournament, and you basically just did a middle finger to Bandai and said, hey, I told you fix your game. Now I'm finna, I'm finna show y'all what, what gonna happen if y'all don't fix y'all game. So him making this tweet right here kind of was too incriminating. He should have laid low. After he won the tournament, it should have been like, hey, guys, I won first place, you know? Not no, hey, fix Sparking Zero. I did it. I, I did this, y'all. I ran with Android for 10, you know what I'm saying? Come off as very uh conniving, you know what I'm saying? And ridiculing them. So... Yeah, that's the only grace I can probably give Bandai for banning them. But other than that, I, I can't say I can't say anything else was valid or just for them to ban him for using what's in the game that people been been told y'all about that should be patched. And then when he asked could he use it, no one answered him in the Discord. Like they didn't show no type of urgency to answer his questions or anything if this was valid or not. So, you know, of course, everybody going to talk about it. You're ignored him when he asked him, was it okay and just? And did he do it? Y'all ban him after he, uh, after he already won. Then people talk about the UK champion cheated by using an item exploit because you're able to use items inside Team DP outside of items being available. So when you on rank, they ask you, do you want to play items with items on you can turn off items, but there's still an exploit to be able to use items in Team DP. So the UK champion cheated by using an item exploit, and Bandai didn't catch it. All the fans knew, and Bandai didn't do nothing about it, even though that is actual a cheat. Like, that's a legit cheat that should be banned the player for cheating inside the goddamn game. It's an exploit. While the two France players 
that guy disqualified from just playing the game with Android 1920 that's in the game, Valid Strat, Bandai banned him. It made no sense. It made no sense. So that's where it kind of get like unjust there, right? Glaku spoke on it, said part of being a TO is being able to admit your mistakes so you can improve your relation with the community. They said, F it, let's double down after we showed them how they were wrong. This is someone covering their ass so they don't lose that Bandai bag. Worst possible outcome. So, like, it, it, it's kind of crazy that they, they banned them. Instead of just saying, we need to fix our game. So, a lot of people are talking about this, upset about this. Especially since they are, they, they still skilled at the game. It's not like they did not a fight. They still skilled at the game. So, just to say, oh yeah, we taking away their rights as being finalists, whatever, and we banning them from all tournaments. And yeah, um, we finna pick some other people that already lost in the goddamn uh, tournament and let them go to battle hour or whatnot. It's a whole crazy situation. And to me, it just makes me have a side eye Bandai. Like, I don't think y'all actually gonna fix y'all game in December now. I truly don't. I'm true. I'm, I'm a non-believer. I'm a non-believer. If they do fix the game in December with some, with an amazing patch, then I'll be happy, eat my words, and I'll, I'll just be happy. I'll just be happy because I enjoy this game. But the way they went about this with banning the players instead of just saying we need to patch this in our game, not a good look. It's not a good look. It's not a good look at all. And I'm kind of I'm disappointed in the band now, to be honest. I mean, I expected this from them because they just, they just money grab with nostalgia and anime games because they know people love it, and then they go about their business, you know what I'm saying? But this is this ridiculous. Let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. Do y'all think it was justified to ban them? Do y'all think Bandai was too harsh? What, what, let me know what y'all think about this whole scenario. To, to, to me, to me, it's like it's, it's like it's like saying it's like eating food that's bad for you and it gives you a stomach ache. And instead of saying Oh, it's the food fault for what I ate. It's the it's the it's just what I ate that's the fault here. You're gonna blame I don't know Pepto Bismo for for not working for your stomach ache. You know what I'm saying? It's like you're not solving the real problem. You're 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 just saving face on some PR is like no fix the actual problem. The players didn't do the problem. The problem is the character in the game, not the actual people that's using and exploiting the character in the game. The exploit is the, the people that use the item. That's a cheat. That's like a little cheat exploit in the game, a bug in the game that they use. But all they did was just use the characters that y'all made that doesn't take away key when dragon dashing. All, that's all they did. And yeah, some would say, hey, the person should have learned how to beat that cheese strat. That's all people can really argue. Hey, skill issue, because it's in the game. But to ban them from using a character that was made by y'all in the game because y'all didn't do enough game testers and listen to the community when they told you it's in the game that's that's crazy but let me know what y'all think down below love you guys appreciate you guys always until next time stay up